All right, we're still finding exact values here. This time we're going to find values of negative angles. Now, this is actually really easy. It's the same as before. You just got to consider one little thing. So we're going to find the exact value of cos negative 4 pi on 3. I'm going to draw a unit circle because I always draw a unit circle when I'm doing this stuff. A negative angle. A negative angle just means that it's moving clockwise, not anti-clockwise like all of the other angles we've done. So, negative 4 pi on 3 is just pi on 3, 2 pi on 3, 3 pi on 3, 4 pi on 3. Okay, that's the important thing about this. After that, all of the stuff is the same. We're going to find that right there. Now, how can we find that? Well. It's up to you how you find that, but really probably the easiest way for us to do that is to understand that it's equal to um, pi minus this stuff. Or, there's a few different ways you can do it, but let's do it that way. Pi minus 2 pi on 3. So that's equal to pi on 3. You can kind of skip that step and go to there as long as you can clearly see what the angle is. Now C A S T that negative has no bearing on this step. Once we've actually identified the angle, we're done with like the difference in this question with negative angles. So we can just say, well, we're in the S quadrant, but it's a cosine question, so it must be negative. And then we go over here, pi on three, cosine, so adjacent over hypotenuse, one half but it's negative, so negative one-half uh, for that question. Alright, so again, it's just a negative angle, so unit circle, we're always drawing them. We start at the x-axis, and instead of moving anti-clockwise like we have, we move neg uh, anti, sorry, we move clockwise because it's negative. So negative 3 pi on 4, that's 1 pi on 4, 2 pi on 4, 3 pi on 4. So that angle there represents negative 3 pi on 4. Now we need to find our reference angle, which is of course this angle, the angle between our x-axis and this point here. Okay, so now that we have our reference angle, we can say that that's equal to, I might just skip my next line here and just jump straight to saying that that is the same as whatever that is, which is sine pi on 4. All right, now what quadrant are we in? C, A, S, T. So it's a sine ratio in the T quadrant, so it's going to be negative. And sine pi on 4, uh, 1 over root 2 or root 2 over 2, but it's negative. All right, uh, they are two examples of negative angles. As long as you know how to draw it on your unit circle, you're in business.